You guys already know what I'm going to say about this, right? So today I'm going to be reviewing Adobe Stock. For those of you who don't know, Adobe acquired Fotolia, which was a stock photo site that I used to use all the time because they had unique images and they were priced very comfortably and affordably for me to do my projects. Since Adobe acquired them and built out Adobe Stock as its own platform for stock photos and stock video and resources and templates, um, it's actually something that a lot of people are very interested in in creative services, not just graphic design, but all around, and I happen to be one of them. In full disclosure, I'm actually now an ambassador for Adobe Stock, and I'm going to be doing some interesting things with them, and they did hook me up with 100 free images. But I still have to pay the same price as the rest of you, just like I do for my Creative Cloud membership. So with that in mind, uh, Adobe is not paying me to say nice things about them. They're not paying for my Creative Cloud membership. That comes out of my pocket. And all of my future Adobe stock purchases are also coming out of my pocket. So the things that I do like are the things that I loved about it when it was part of Fotolia. I love that it has a variety of interesting images. This is not a, a stock photo site that's owned by Getty. So there are a lot of things that, like for any of you who have used um, Getty images, you know why a lot of creatives and uh, photographers actually have some issues with them scooping up every stock house that there is and you know we all have our feelings about that but the cool thing about the independent stock houses like Adobe Stock and others is that you get variety. You get variety and you get some of the best images from creators around the world and I'm actually going to be a contributor to Adobe Stock and I'm actually getting some new camera gear to help out with that. That's going to be awesome. And ultimately, I'm really impressed with some of the people that they have got contributing to these, doing amazing images. I also like that it's not limited to photos. It's got video as well, which is great for me as somebody who does YouTube content and is moving into doing motivational short films. So I think that's going to be cool. That's how I love to use B-roll and cutaways and things for that. Uh, this is going to help me with some of my presentations and slide decks as a public speaker. And I've already started incorporating it into that. And I'm actually going to be able to do some really cool things in the future with infographics and articles based on some of the topics that I cover here on YouTube uh, because of the templates that they have. They have these amazing templates for um, Illustrator and they even have Photoshop graphics that you guys can get. So this is a really great stock option for you guys. And $30 a month for 10 images might seem like a lot, but in terms of what we paid in the past individually, it is a bargain when you compare it to some of the other stock photo sites out there. They have other plans for people who order uh, more stock photos at a time than that, people like me. So that's one of the plans that I'm looking at is probably a higher price plan than the $30 a month. But I'm okay with that because I'm using this for projects and things that I would make money on. In fact, a lot of you actually can take advantage of this because Adobe Stock lets you use these images commercially, which means that you can even use it on products that you want to sell. The license allows for that. In the near future, they're going to be opening up the contributor program that I'm a part of, and I'll be able to talk to you guys a little bit more about that, but that means that you'll actually have the opportunity to make money off of your own work. So whether that's design and illustration assets, or whether it's other cool things that you've put together in Photoshop that might be great for somebody uh, that is a marketer or another designer or somebody that owns a business, or whether they're just stunning photos that you've managed to put together, you're gonna have an opportunity to make some profit off of this and maybe that covers your subscription to Creative Cloud. Maybe that covers your um, stock photo purchases in the future or maybe it just puts some extra money in your pocket. So I honestly believe that Adobe Stock is pretty awesome. It's something I was looking at before the Ambassador program opened up for me and it's something that I'm going to continue to use and continue to pay for. So I think that you guys should check it out. You get 10 free images. Go ahead and use the link in the description below. Grab that. You have those images to use to your heart's content. And you can even use them in commercial projects for you, for your clients, or even on a product that you're going to sell online. If you're someone using Adobe Stock right now, I'd love to know uh, your thoughts on it in the comment section. I think that's pretty cool. Also, I have a poll running. I want to know if you plan to become an Adobe Stock contributor once that opens up for people. Do you want to sell some of your graphics and your images online and make some extra money? Or is that something that you're opposed to for whatever reason? Let me know in the poll and also give me your feedback on that in the comment section below. 
Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Remember, graphic design videos are usually on Mondays. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today. Who knows? Maybe you'll end up contributing it on Adobe Stock.